you can see this is a 2007 F-150. Got the big tires on it. Come back around over here. This one's not done yet, but uh, when we get it done, it's going to look real good. So this is our battery pack. And what I want to do is show you the hood. So let's go take a look at the hood. All right, here's the hood, just as I promised, but I think you're gonna like even more what's underneath the hood. What we've got here is all OEM parts, except for our controller. And if you look way down in here, you're gonna see that that is actually an electric motor. This truck probably has about 500 miles on it already. We've been doing some testing. But as you can see, this is the OEM um, compressor for the air conditioner. That's the OEM alternator. And these are the actual OEM brackets right here. The only thing you see uh, that we made is the one bracket here and the battery box. Everything else is OEM. So you can get all your parts at Napa or Ford. You can get your containers, you can get your compressors, you can get your ABS braking system, brakes, transmission, the OEM transmission still in here. But let me show you some... What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to cut the battery management system on as well. Cut this radio off. Because what the battery management system does, it allows us to see what's going on. But what we're going to do right now is go in reverse. As you can see I use everything OEM. I've got the stick shift right here. I've got the ignition key. I've got a little uh, energy gauge here. Um, air airbags, I don't really touch anything inside. There's two wires that go inside the ignition, turns it on, and then when I hit the spring, it actually turns it. So here we go. Hold on, watch both ways. Like I said, it's a little bit faster than a V6. Uh, this truck will get about between 60 and 80 miles per charge depending on how fast you drive or how hard you drive it. Coming around here. You see we're up to about 50 miles an hour right now. We got bigger tires on it. So when it says 50, we're actually doing between 55 and 60. We're gonna go around to one of these back roads over here. Blinker works, it's all, like I said, it's all OEM. All the gauges work. Make my right hand turn. You can see our alternator, still nice and cool. Uh, 87, let's go to our controller. It's still 78, let's go down to our motor. Our motor got up to about 93, that was it. That's because And this box truck can go up to 19,500 GVW. And what we've done here is we've taken all the OEM parts and we've kept them. The only thing we got rid of was the gas tank and the engine block and the, the, uh, the injectors on top of the engine block. So what we've done is we have kept the air compressor. This is the OEM air compressor. As you can see, we've also kept the belt. Look at that. That's the OEM belt. I guess we've also kept the alternator and the reservoirs and it's all in the same place look the radiators in the same place we're even using that radiator if you come over here I'm going to show you everything else we used so if you look
look right here we have actually used the the water pump look at that that's the OEM water pump from this truck we've also used the uh, the power steering as well here's the same hoses look at that same hoses and these hoses they cool this inverter which powers the electric motor if you look down in here you can see the electric motor that's a 200 kilowatt motor but here's one of the best things here's what no one has done yet I have used the OEM transmission this is an Allison transmission I've hooked it up to the electric motor and I've also used the OEM Allison TCM and I've used all the same plugs all the same wiring everything is the same now all this wiring you see is all going to be cleaned up this is a prototype stage we're going to go into production stage you're not going to see this inverter it's going to be in a waterproof box that inverter is going to be in a waterproof box all of these wires are going to be gone and replace some of the OEM wires this is OEM wiring harness and we're going to work with the manufacturer on that these are the battery packs I'm standing on right now but right here you've got the OEM Allison transmission cooler You've got the air tanks for the brakes. You can see it's still there. And if you come over here, you can see our charger kit back here. So we've got a charger. This is going to be my out. Oh, here we go. You can see a charger down in there. You can't look at that long because that's where a lot of the technology is. But right here, I've got all my wires in here. This is prototype stage. This is all going to go in a nice little control box. You know, I build nice control panels. You look at some of my other videos. This battery box, this is about double the size because it's a prototype. If you look in here, there's a lot of room. So it's still going to get 100 miles, but we're only going to use about this much. And it's only going to be about this high. It's going to be a lot smaller. So you're going to see the accessory assembly. Your accessory assembly is off. That means now we have power everywhere. We have power back to our battery. We have air going to our air brakes. Our power steering works. Here, the uh, blow off on it. You can even start it. in here to help me start it but you can see all the OEM stuff is going to maintain this is going to stay here key switch is going to stay here key switch is on now and I'm going to start it the gauges still work up here everything still works I can put it in reverse it goes in reverse I can put it in drive it goes in drive I'm going to take off down there real quick Yeah. 